Hey everyone! Today in our blue book in lesson 8, in the last lesson in this book, we're going to be solving two and three digit word problems with addition and you can choose whatever strategy makes the most sense for you. So we're going to be doing ones with just two add-ins and we also are going to be doing ones that have three add-ins. So I'm going to do two examples with you and then you can go ahead and try it on your own and let me know if you have any questions. So we're going to start with an example on this page. We're going to start over here. So I'm going to do this first example and then you're going to try the other three on the page. So I'm going to look over here and I'm going to read my word problem. Jane has 426 stickers and 211 markers. How many does Jane have all together? So I'm doing an adding problem. 426 plus 211. So I'm going to write that down. 426 plus 211. So now I can decide how I want to add these up. I could choose to use my base 10 blocks. I can choose to do an open number line. I can choose to do the split method. All the different ways that we've done. For this one, I'm going to use um, just the traditional algorithm. So I'm going to write down 426 plus 211. I have them all lined up. My ones are lined up, my tens are lined up, and my hundreds are lined up. So six plus one, seven, two plus one, three, four plus two is six. So my answer is 637. When I flip it over, I see that there's more numbers than just two things to add together. So I'm going to look at this two-step three-digit word problem and then see if I can solve it. I'm going to read it to you. The kids eat 513 french fries and 363 chicken nuggets. After dinner, they eat 276 cookies. How much food did they eat all together? Wow, this must have been talking about a whole school or something eating all of this. So I'm going to circle the things that I need to add together. I need to add up all the different kinds of food that they ate. So I see that they ate 513 kinds of french fries, 336 chicken nuggets, and 276 cookies. So I'm going to start by adding my first two up. 513 plus 336. That's going to give me my first answer. I think I'm going to use an open number line for this one. So 513. I need to make three big jumps of 100. 613, 713, 813. Three jumps of 10. 813. 823, 833, 843, and then six little jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. 843, 844, 845, 846, 847, 848, 849. So now I want to add this 849, the first two numbers I added together, that's the sum, with this 276 cookies. So 849 plus 276. So I'm now ready to add those two numbers together. So here is my 849. 800s four tens, nine ones. Here's my 276. So I'm going to combine these all together. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Take that, exchange it for a rod. And now I'm going to add up all my rods. One, two, four, Six, eight, ten. Uh oh. Exchange that for another ten. 
and I'm left with all of this. So I still have quite a bit over here. It looks like I might have 10 groups of 100, so I'm gonna count and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we had that happen before in class, and you will notice that in the package that I gave you, I did give you one that looks like this. This is a thousand block. So I'm going to take my 10 groups of 100 and replace it with a thousand. Now, these numbers I can handle. One in the thousand spot, one in the hundred spot, two in the 10 spot, and five in the one spot. So now I'm going to write down my answer. My answer to 849 plus 276, one in the thousand spot, one in the hundred spot, two in the ten spot, and five in the one spot. The way I would read that number is 1,125.